I need some chips, my bad. Can you take us through the process of getting back to where you are today, representing South Carolina football? I would say first three weeks, really not walking that, that great. Um, and then just with the MCL, just kind of being the MCL, being that vascular kind of, uh, at one point it just kind of continuously got better each and every day um, from dry needling to cupping to massages to, I mean, you name it, I probably did it for the knee. So, and then just with the MCL, everybody knows MCLs connect to the hamstring, ended up having like a couple hamstring problems. So it's not just, not just one thing I was dealing with. It was like multiple things throughout the, throughout the five weeks. Um, you know, I'm, I would say I'm, I'm more on a flexible end uh, and, I, and I didn't, I didn't been in some bad, you know, some bad tie ups and a lot of people probably wouldn't be standing here if they was in the same things that I was. So it's, um, initially just kind of feeling it. I knew it wasn't the best. And I mean, who, who wants to be hurt when this is literally what I do every day, uh, <laughs> Monday through Sunday, bro. So it's, it wasn't, you know, it's, it's, it's not just, oh, I'm, I'm done for the time. It's, well, damn, I do this every day and I can't do it anymore. So I'm frustrated. And that's just what it was. Right. You missed obviously five straight games. I mean, how would you evaluate the performance tonight? Was you feeling rushed or were you able to take strides out there? Not nah, felt good, bro. Felt good. Felt, felt like, um, and I mean, y'all watched the game and I, I, was, I was in the game. But as far as being in the game and being in my helmet, I, I felt good. I mentioned, I'm pretty uh, sure you were surprised to get the punt return, but just that missed the chance point, right? Obviously. Let's see that, and then coming back over the sideline and, and uh, getting those first two points. Um, I mean, nothing to really talk through. It was Pat pitched it. I, you know, showing my personality. That's what we talk about, being me, playing football, man. And that's just what it is. You get the taunt penalty. It's 15 yards. You know, take it with a grain of salt at the time. Go to the next play, buck. You know, kicks a 48 yard field goal, extra point, and we and we make it happen. It's on to the next play, and then, you know, thing on the sideline is 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 EB. I mean, it's just one of those things. Um, you got to be a, a real strong minded player to play for EB, and a lot of people wouldn't be able to. So, I mean, I just went to the sideline knowing that I was gonna hear him. Uh, kind of been playing for him, so I know. And then you know, here comes TK, and here comes the offense uh, right behind me. So it's. It's 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 more than just you know the things that y'all see. It's it's a brotherhood. It's you know the me and EB going back and forth one on one. It's you know I could buy EB a pair of shoes and then we arguing about the color and like literally like that's the things that go on you know throughout the week and it's it's a relationship you know and everybody you know sees one thing but you know it's 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 one thing when it's just us and just the you know the crowd being there is. It's kind of the crowd, but once we're on that field, man, it's, it's kind of like a family-oriented thing. So that's why I ended up being yelling, mosh pit, laughing. So it was it was pretty cool. Mike, was this the second time in your career where it seemed like you were able to hold your stride on the reception and get it up? I was wondering how you pushed through those things. Was it frustration or just something that just happened and you were able to have that extra experience? It's hard. It's uh, a <laughs> being a being a young player, man, and and it really. I, I just vividly remember telling my brother, I'm like, every time I hit my stride, bro, it just seemed like, you know, something, something happening. And, you know, then you got, you know, media saying whatever. But, and then it's kind of just like, bro, you're in a position that you're supposed to be in. Um, and then, you know, just whatever happens on the field, it, it, it happens. You can't sit there and dwell on it. Now, at the time, like, you, everybody's going to tell you, oh, man, you can't be mad or, you know, do this and do that. But, I mean, yeah, you're frustrated, you're mad, you want to play ball. Like, like I like I was telling them, I'm like, man, I do this seven days a week. Like, I go to the facility every day, and then when somebody tells you that you can't go do that, it's frustrating. Um, but you have to figure out another way to try to, you know, get that get that fixed. So now it was okay. I can't do that. So I need to try to figure out go deeper in film. Um, mental reps as far as watching practice. I need to, you know, mentally trick myself as far as tell my body that I'm doing it when I'm really not. And uh, that's what makes you a pro. That's what, that's what sets me, you know, that's what I feel like that's what sets me apart from the next person. Um, everybody can't say they put as much work at, as I did um, when I was hurt, um, comparable to the next person. And everybody can speak for themselves, but, you know, I'm me and that's just what it is. Brother, yeah, yeah, my older brother. Uh, 
Uh, man, it's, you know, just to say it's a brotherhood, it's, it's kind of like that, just like that icing word. Uh, literally, the dirt is one of them, you know, probably one of the reasons why I'm, why I'm standing in this position. And, um, just even when I got to LSU, just understanding defenses, understanding just little things uh, on the field, off the field, learning stuff back in Louisiana. So it's, it's not... It's not just oh I, you know I'm I'm with him he's my you know that's my boy and he 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 makes things work for me and he makes everything easy it's you know he's pretty much since since it was time to really make things work he's since college man since freshman year of college first day walked in he took me under his wing and that's just what it was and when I got drafted here man I was like it's 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 a blessing in disguise just knowing that it's gonna be those times that unfortunately that I was hurt. Uh, you're going to have guys like Dirk calling you, making sure you're doing the right thing off the field, making sure you're doing the right thing when it's, you know, we were at practice and it's, you know, what you did, you know, when we were at practice and, and how did you get it done? Um, and it, it might not be exactly like a like a coach. It's, you know, it's more like an older brother. And that's just that's just what it was. And our relationship is, you know, a, a lot different from what uh, I would say. You know, people see tweets and everything, but literally, man, it's, you know, from the time that I was – Scholarship check, not 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 touching in college. He was he was he was making ends meet, bro. So uh, he's it's 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 different with with, with me and Dirty. Mike, when did you uh, know that you were in the playing stay and get to go? And as good as we looked, was there any thought process? Well, we've got the bye week, the whole week to recover. Could just wait until after the bye week to come back. Yeah, that was uh that was pretty much the whole week. And when you start telling the competitor, you know. Hey man, you've been on the field. You look good. Oh man, you did that move. You look good, and you start, and then that person starts to feel good at practice, and he's getting starting reps and and, and rolling. It's kind of hard to tell him that you know that they, hey, you're not playing at all. You're just gonna have to wait till after the bye week. That's I don't, Coach Reed doesn't roll like that. And you know if you're gonna go out and practice, you're either gonna practice full, or you're gonna go into rehab. And it's as simple as that. Okay, thanks, Mike. Damn.